As you can see right here, the Rumble CEO offered Joe Rogan $100 million to come over to his platform. We're gonna talk about that and a little bit more, and we're gonna start right now. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Kyle. In case you don't know, I have about 25 years of political experience within the Republican Party and was a former Democrat who came over to the light side of the force, and now I'm doing YouTube videos and I hope that you like what I'm doing. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. This is The Conservative Take. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about Joe Rogan being offered $100 million from the CEO of Rumble to go over to the platform, which he, by the way, went on about a month or so ago from YouTube, wherever he went to, but he went to Rumble to create a account there. But now Rumble wants him to move his library over there, promising no censorship. This is a game breaker. I'm gonna talk about this really quickly, but before I do that, I wanna talk about how we got here. And how we got here was simply, Joe Rogan got the coof, and he went on to some protocols which were not approved by the mainstream media and by so-called the science community. And therefore they clowned him, CNN went to him and basically clowned him. Uh, Gupta came on his show and he doubled down on that, but he pushed back on Gupta and then he brought more guests on to validate what he was saying. And then of course the backlash happened because that information was explosive. And if you want to go to our, our Rumble account, we had talked about that over there on our Rumble account, rumble.theconservativetake.com. Go there and you can see that content there as well. However, then the backlash came even more and it trickled in to the point where people were taking themselves off the platform. Neil Young, I think uh, some hippie, I can't remember her name was, uh, I'd come to me eventually. Other people came in there talking about they're going to come off. Barack Obama talked about he's going to take this stuff off, like who cares? And eventually he made a statement apologizing. People say he apologized. I don't think he apologized. I still don't. But he did it in a way that was very simpering and was taken out of context, in my opinion. Well, it was because they didn't mention anything about his original statement about the people he had on the show being experts in their field of the upper most echelon category. And uh, they were just incredible people to have on their show. And no one wants to come out against the actual information, just they would attack the messenger. Anyway, that happened. And then of course, you know, cancel culture society went back into his past, did a montage of him making statements with the N word. And of course that became an issue, but then they ignored Joe Biden doing what he did, saying what he did, being in bed with the Ku Klux Klan uh, mentor, uh, was the guy at the game from West Virginia. I forget his name right now. Also saying the things he said, we document that many, many times on this channel. Not to mention Howard Stern of the skit of him doing horrendous things. No one talks about that. No one talks about Trudeau, what he did, the governor of, the former governor of Virginia. It goes on and on and on. A double standard left and right, and we're tired of seeing these double standards. And so that to me is the bigger issue here, is really the double standards. If they call balls for balls and strikes for strikes, I won't pretty much say anything because free speech should be for everybody and it still should be for everybody. But when you go against that and you put it in a way that's only attacking conservatives, then I have a serious problem with that. Now let's jump right into this. You see right behind me, breaking rumble has offered Joe Rogan $100 million to move over to their video platform. This is from the rumble account from corp.rumble.com. And I'm going to scroll down and show you what this thing says here. It reads, Dear Joe, we stand with you, your guests and your legion of fans. And by the way, he has a legion of fans. In fact, the Joe Rogan podcast has more people than the whole liberal news media. And probably I would dare say Fox News, I don't know, but I know definitely CNN, MSNBC, and the other one that I can't think of right now. All those combined, Joe Rogan dwarfs them in audience. And it says here, and your legion of fans in desire for real conversation, real conversation, because Joe Rogan, all he wants to do, according to a statement, is just have a conversation. I remember when Phil Donahue used to have conversations on his show. Phil Donahue was a bleeding heart liberal, but he was not some crazy insane leftist where he didn't let people speak. He would have Milton Friedman come on his show, some of the best programming ever, where he would just let Milton Friedman talk about his supply side economics and just floor the entire audience and then that was it. He would give him time to talk and let the conversation breathe without being interrupted or shouted down. We don't see that anymore. 
we'd like to offer you $100 million reasons to make the world a better place. How about you bring your shows to Rumble, both old and new, with no censorship, for $100 million over four years? This is our chance to save the world, and yes, this is totally legit. Chris, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Pavarovsky, I guess his name is. And so to me, Rumble is a very powerful platform. It's still emerging. And to me, this is something that can really be a game changer. I don't know if Rumble has the infrastructure in place to handle somebody like Joe Rogan, but once he signs on, you best believe they're gonna get investors left and right to increase that infrastructure, that IT footprint that they're gonna to need, the servers they're gonna to need to handle the capacity that he's gonna to bring to the platform. Because right now, their service really isn't as robust as it needs to be but I'm sure they're gonna put a lot of investment toward the area. This behind me now is our Rumble account and we are on it. We are just putting things up there gradually, but as time goes on, we will be putting more stuff out here. If you will go to rumble.theconservativetech.com, that's our account, so check us out there. And also if you wanna sign up for our membership site, go to gate.theconservativetech.com. There we have videos there that YouTube does not like. We have a couple of videos out there about the Joe Rogan show and his his actual apology and what he actually meant by it and why it was so important and why he is such a dangerous figure right now in the media but the important thing is what do you think what do you think about this joe rogan 100 million dollar offer from rumble to leave spotify to go over to rumble which by the way spotify offered him 100 million dollars a few years ago so it's the exact same offering price but i will say this i don't know if this is something he's gonna be able to do will they have to buy out his contract what does that mean? Does he have the rights to his own material? Who knows? It could be a publicity stunt, but it definitely, if nothing else, is a shot over the bow of Spotify and these other big tech media companies who think they can get by, you know, unhinged and unfettered by violating people's rights without being held accountable for their actions. Again, let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. And if you like to do this channel, we take pop culture and politics and filter things to you in a conservative manner, then please check out some more content that we have for you right here.